Experts assert that one primary reason for the closure of Silicon Valley Bank, or SBB, is the high interest rate, which has hindered the operations of numerous financial institutions. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation recently declared the failure of SBB, a U.S.-based banking institution. Over the previous 12 months, the Federal Reserve has increased interest rates multiple times. In addition to making it more difficult for financial institutions to finance themselves, these increased rates have also diminished the value of their current loans and assets. The Federal Reserve has become a dominant player in the stock market, and these increases in interest rates may have an impact on publicly listed businesses, especially growth stocks such as Tesla. Hi everyone, and happy return to Tesla. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates seven times in 2022 in response to inflation that was higher than anticipated tomorrow. But stock analysts and investors like Kathy Wood don't seem to be buying it. Woods predicted that this crisis will swallow up more regional banks and further centralize, if not nationalize, the American banking system if the Federal Reserve keeps focusing on lagging indicators like the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, and does not change course in response to deflationary forces signaled by the inverted yield curve. By approaching inflation in this manner, Kathy Wood thinks the FED may be seriously mishandling the situation and may be missing some crucial information. Let's find out, but before we get started, please make sure to press the like button, subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications so you can keep informed about everything Tesla has going on. Kathy Wood said, Kathy Wood has previously voiced opposition to the Federal Reserve's interest rate increases. Interest rates reached their highest position since 2008 when the U.S. Central Bank announced a third straight 0.75% point rate increase last year, ranging from 3% to 3.25%. The Fed appears to be acting aggressively to lower the inflation rate, which was significantly higher than its benchmark target of 2%, even though interest rate rises usually occur in increments of 25 basis points. In response, she stated that although the Federal Reserve may view this as a successful strategy for containing inflation, the action could have unfavorable consequences for the economy. She claims that the Fed appears to be concentrating on two factors. She believes that employment and downstream inflation are trailing indicators, but they are giving contradictory signals that cast doubt on the Fed's unified decision to raise interest rates. The Fed says its approach is data-sensitive, but most financial experts, including Kathy, wouldn't think so. They might be correct, but first, let's look at how it all began. Beginning in 2022, there was a significant repricing of the stock market. The S&P 500 stock index, which is a crucial gauge of U.S. equities, entered a bear market and declined by 20% from its peak value, along with other important market indexes. As a result, the Federal Reserve made monetary policy adjustments in an effort to lessen the risk of inflation. These actions included cutting its bond holdings and sharply raising the short-term target federal funds rate from almost 0% to 4.5% and eventually 4.75% by February 2023. The goal of the Fed's actions is to reduce the rate of economic expansion, preferably without raising interest rates and causing a recession. In order to reduce inflation in the price of goods and services, the central bank intends to discourage spending. However, this will have additional effects, such as raising the maximum interest rate on home equity loans to 8%, possibly raising monthly payments for new mortgages, and, most importantly, affecting the stock market. How do interest rate hikes affect the stock market, and specifically Tesla stock, will be discussed in a moment. When the Federal Open Market Committee, or FOMC, raises interest rates, it affects both the economy and the stock markets because borrowing becomes more or less expensive for both individuals and businesses. It typically takes at least a year for a change in the interest rate to have a significant impact on the economy. A change is often more immediate markets will often attempt to price in future expectations of rate hikes and anticipate that the actions of the FONC are made official the interest rate that impacts the stock market is the federal funds rate which is the interest rate that depository institutions such as banks, savings, and loans and credit unions charge each other for overnight loans. And so, by increasing the federal funds rate, the FED is effectively attempting to shrink the supply of money available for making purchases as rates rise. Businesses are not impacted by higher borrowing costs, but they are also exposed to the adverse effects of lagging consumer demand, and these two factors can weigh on earnings and stock prices on the other hand when the economy is slowing the federal. Reserve cuts the federal funds rate to stimulate financial activity, and so a decrease in interest rates has the opposite effect of a rate hike, serving as a catalyst for growth, which in turn leads to greater profits and a robust economy, 
although the Federal Reserve has consistently expressed its commitment to reducing inflation as much as possible. Rising interest rates combined with a sustained increase in inflation have negative effects on the investment markets, including the stock market. In addition to Kathy Wood, several stock analysts have responded to the Federal Reserve's increase in interest rates. The Fed statement, according to Paul Nolte, portfolio manager at Kingsview Investment Management Chicago, was rather hawkish. He also said that the price increase is a sign of unpredictable markets and that the likelihood of a recession in the upcoming months is significantly increased. Ryan Dietrich, chief market strategist at Carson Group Omaha, added that in order to control out-of-control inflation, the FAE is prepared to cause significant harm to the economy and maybe the stock market in addition to leaving the door open for additional rate hikes. Dietrich claims that the economy is rapidly slowing down and that the Fed's economic projections are quite low. He went on to say that the Fed's interest rate policy might push the dollar higher, which would put more pressure on stocks. However, it appears that the Fed will not be giving up on its mission anytime soon. Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, claims that the organization will not change its position until it is certain that inflation rates are declining. The business is dedicated to reaching a substantially restrictive stance of policy and remaining there until he feels convinced that inflation is declining, he said, adding that investors should be aware that inflation is running too high. Before there is any talk about loosening the policy, a number of other Fed members have stated that they must witness several months of inflation that is heading toward 2%. In an interview, Mary Daly, the president of the San Francisco Fed, discussed this and said that more policy changes would be necessary to adequately restrain the economy. She also predicted that the Fed would raise rates to a level that it deems restrictive enough to lower inflation and keep it there. The Federal Reserve's current target range for the benchmark rate is 3.25 to 4 percent. But Governor Christopher Waller has also confirmed that the Fed will not pause until it sees signs of inflation beginning to moderate. The Fed is currently working toward a goal of quickly raising the benchmark interest rate to approximately 4.5 percent. Officials have stated that it would take a lot to push them off this path and that the Fed is prepared to go higher if the elevated inflation rates fail to show signs of easing after this in a recent tweet. Kathy Wood said that a number of banks are being forced to sell stake securities at a loss since deposit outflows have caused the Fed to fund rates to jump by a record-breaking 19 times to 4.75% in less than a year. Wood went on to say that, similar to Silicon Valley, bank startups are using bank deposits to fund their operations in response to a lack of venture capital funding. While Wood believes that inflation is the primary cause of the economy's sharp decline, the financial expert also supports the idea that companies may experience deflation. This is an issue that investors should be concerned about. There is no doubt that inflation is having a negative impact on the economy, but this time it is a result of significant economic shocks that have never been seen before. Do you think the Federal Reserve will announce another rate hike anytime soon? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you'd like to know what Tesla has been up to these past few days, click here.